Hello friends and future friends, I am Shrewboy313 and welcome back to the Pokemon White Weakling Challenge. Now, in the last episode, I like how I forgot the word, I sort of screwed up the word THE, but in the last episode, we cleared out the cold storage, and well, Clay said that we can challenge his gym wherever it is, I believe it's down here, yes. Okay. Team Galactic's here, so never mind. No, not Galactic, it's Plasma. Let me live. <laughs> Clay. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Getsis of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates who are in your care. I don't need no thanks now. Your buddies were trying to steal some folks Pokemon. What's this? This is, seems there as if there have been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked people. Well that sounds real nice if it's true. I may not talk parody but at least I'm an honest man. You talk real nice but what you're saying kinda sounds like you're lying. So tell me plain, what are you trying to say? Team Plasma also has an interest in Driftvale City, and we have many, many more members besides those who are here. Well, I can't tell if you're lying or not, but I reckon you've won this without a fight. Take them and get. <laughs> a decision worthy of a businessman called the Minor King. Your grasp of the situation in us is outstanding. Well then, we will be taking our colleagues off of your hands. Gets this. Thank you very much. Don't worry, my fellow servant of the king. We are two of the seven sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect we will meet again somewhere. And then apparently we just casually let them go, because that's c the kind of people we are. <laughs> Sorry to let Team Plasma go after you've tracked them down. Why don't you cheer yourselves up with a battle? Don't keep me waiting. Alright. We avoided a fight in the middle of the city, but I can't help think Getsis isn't just an ordinary person. I'm off to make my Pokemon stronger. I really don't want to lose to cl that clay guy. I'm going to win in a flawless victory. I probably am not. <laughs> just putting it out there, I am not. And I'm also probably gonna... What am I gonna do? I don't know. We're just gonna run in blindly and hope for the best. Yep. Now, the guy does say that Clay uses ground type moves, but. or ground type Pokemon, but that is a dang dirty lie. <laughs> well, I mean, he does normally, obviously, but it's a dang dirty lie in this, should I say. Right, Entrepreneur Daniel with a Golet. <laughs> Already not a great start for Venus. Oh dear. Right, I think we're just gonna go with Chloris immediately. I mean, Magical Leaf, Giga Drain, I'm pretty sure they're very useful against a Golet. And I've just realised Golet actually is ground type. <laughs> what do you know? Turns out the guy at the entrance wasn't a complete liar then. <laughs> oh dear. Right, that's one down and a Lily. Ooh, that's... <sighs> Rock Grass? What do you do against that, I guess? Hades is as good a choice as any, I guess. I mean, at least with Bubble Beam we can get a normal... We can get normal damage, I suppose. Also, yikes, pressure. <laughs> right. Oh, no, you're not in grain. You know, I'm gonna try submission. <laughs> Hope for the best. Oh. Did not realise Lilip was weak to submission. Did not know. <laughs> there you go, I've learnt something today. Right. There's just a casually casually just a businessman in here. <laughs> Same. I guess oh, I don't know. I assume like I say, I assume I've not Played this for ages, I assume we're just meant to be getting to the bottom of the mine. Alright, Bob sends in a Blitzel, yes, that is electric. Apologies for that, I heard a knock at my door. Or at least I thought I did. Eh. It doesn't matter, we're back anyway. <laughs> we're gonna switch Venus out because, obviously. Right. Oh wow, 
<laughs> With my negativity and bad luck, I'm surprised I didn't get paralyzed. Right, so well we defeated Bob but, and that's the main thing. So we can go even further down. Sure, let's go up and battle the guy in a suit, why not? Uh, I'm just wondering which uh, things I need to take. I think the case is you need to get up far enough because there's one also an elite trainer same. I think you need to get up high enough to get onto one lift that takes it all the way to the bottom. I think that's the case but I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, again, please don't quote me on these kinds of things because I don't know. In before it hits five, oh wow, I was going to say in before it hits five times. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Just casually tap my fingers because Venus is garbage. She desperately needs wing attack just to be useful, to be honest. I'm pretty sure at this point there's literally no point in even having a battle at all. I mean, I guess she can hit Pokemon that are in the sky pretty well with Gust and Twister, but that is about it. Right, Simiseer, let's just go with Hades and Bubble Beam it. So, I mean, I figure that's going to be an easy enough, well, an easy enough way to take it down. Right, well, there's the fire monkey itself, and here we get rude. <laughs> rude. I do not deserve this. Oh dear. I mean, at least it went down, so there's that. Oh dear. Hey, and Venus is level 33. You know, honestly, I think I'm going to keep the EXP share on Venus until either she learns wing attack or she evolves. Just because as a Pidgeotto at this stage in the game, she's not useful. And I mean, I do realise that'll probably mean that we'll fall behind a little bit on levels, but... I mean, on levels for the other one, for some of the other team members, but... That is the price we have to pay, apparently. <laughs> right, let's just super potion these guys back up, whether they particularly needed it, I don't really know. But I mean, it's safe to do it just in case. Aha! So I'm assuming we need to get to this one. Right, this was where we started, wasn't it? Where can I get if we go up here? Right, um... Does this take us back out? I think it does. Right, okay. You know what, since I've accidentally left, let's go heal up, shall we? <laughs> I mean, why not? Oopsie, not the bag. Sorry, the the button for the bike is right next to the one for the bag, so it's quite easy to hit the wrong one. As well, you will have seen. Right, Pokemon of Center. I mean, normally I'd consider cutting it out, but then just end up... I want to say cutting it out, I mean cutting this trip to the Pokemon Center out, but... Eh, I'm lazy and we're not actually that far into the video yet, so... Yeah... It is just pure laziness that doesn't want to do it. Right. And to be honest, at least with fully healed Pokemon and a few of the trainers taken down, it is going to be a little bit easier to get around the place. Uh, right, so we can go down... If we take this one up... Yeah, we can't do anything but battle this guy, so let's battle this guy. Because <laughs> I thought we'd be able to go to the left of that cone, but obviously the button's in the way. Although, to be honest, if we could have gone to the left of the cone, all we'd have been able to do would be... What is it? Battle that woman from behind? As weird as that sounds. Right, did we get, didn't we get an electric attack? Is that a thing? It is not a thing. <laughs> right, let's hope they don't go for water gun, considering we had Chloris out. Because, I mean, at least with Amaterasu we've got rock throw. Oh, the... Alright. I mean, I would have 
not assuming that we were going to switch out, I would have just thought they would have gone with Wing Attack, because it was a Roselia. Right. <laughs> and then they don't use Water Pulse once they see there's a... You know what, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to be glad they made the decisions they did. We'll go with it. <laughs> Alright, and next is a Nidorina. Actually, no, let's stick in. It's poison type, it's weak to Psy Shock, and that, oh this should hopefully finish it off in one. Like I don't know whether it will, there we go, it did, awesome. Right, ooh, an Amaterasu is almost level 35 as well. Right, <laughs> we'll take this guy down with us, then that actually means we can only take this one. So I'm gonna say that we take the what is it, the lift above us, not to the right of us? Because I seem to recall taking the one to the right of us last time. But the question is, do I really? I can't remember. Oh, there we go, I think we've done it. Ta-da! We just battle this woman and then we can go down. Clay's at the bottom of the gym, but I will test you to see whether you're skilled enough to face the leader. I like how amidst all of the miners, there's just like a few... <laughs> They look like office workers. <laughs> Just like doesn't match the aesthetic at all. Although I'm gonna guess maybe that's what they were going for. Just maybe they're like the overseers. Not literally like an overseer, like in fa like Fallout overseer. But like someone who works on the books maybe for the mine. I don't know. Basically an office worker is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's just Giga Drain it, just to get a little bit of the health back. Ta-da! Oh wow! Right, there we go, get the old experience. And then, once she gives us the dollar, we can head down to the bottom of the gym. Wee! I like- oh look, <laughs> some casual bones and fossils in there. Now I wonder how fast are these lifts actually going? Because if it's slammed into the f into like the floor like that, that could really hurt. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's. Uh, actually, have I got any orange berries? I'll use them instead. There we go. Tada! And now Cloris is back to full health. I love, I love in this area how there's like the conveyor belts, you can see them like bringing gems and then like, if you notice, the gems get pulled up like these little lips as well, it's cool. But anyway, we're here at Clay. Well, I think it's time to see for myself what kind of skills made you make a gym leader like Elisa take a shine to you. Alright Clay, or should I say, Cristiano. <laughs> Uh, manager Cristiano sends out a Kabuta. That's actually perfect to start off with for me. So, I mean, so long as it doesn't do too much damage to us, it'll give me the opportunity to set up some toxic spikes. Right, mud shot. That just slows me down, I want to say. Oh, that barely did any damage at all. That's fine. And Roselia slash Chloris, they aren't exactly the fastest of Pokemon in, re in existence, so... I don't think losing speed is going to be the worst thing. So let's just Giga Drain. Aww. <laughs> losing speed might not be the worst thing, but accuracy is. Oh dear. I mean, at least it's a one hit KO. That's something to be happy about. Right, Chloris and Venus, and next is. Of course, just watch his other Pokemon be somehow resilient to the toxic spikes. Like, I spent two turns setting them up and they're probably not even going to get used. Oh dear. It's going to be annoying if that is the case, but I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, so... I shan't dwell on it and I shan't complain. Right, especially when we get a one-hit KO against the Noctowl. And Amaterasu gets to level 35. Ooh, and Venus to 34. Awesome. Have a... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's dying a little bit. Oh, my voice is going. <clears throat> there we go, that's a bit better. 
See, I don't know whether an Abra's going to be technically floating, but I wouldn't have... I'd hope it isn't. Just so that it gets poisoned. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> Giving up's the easy way out. If I wanted to, I didn't see the rest of that because it went too quickly. Nice. And to be honest, it didn't matter anyway. <laughs> well, I've had enough. And... I wish they didn't go so fast, I'd have liked to actually read those. Hmm, I see, but I sure don't like it. For such a young and you have an imposing battle style. I know you're people who can dig up your potential. Take this. <clears throat> Take this is apparently me coughing. I have water that I'm trying to reach on my bedside table. But also, batch number five, holla, says the white boy. There, is that a bit better? I can't tell. Right. Fifth badge, Pokemon up to level 60. Also, yes, the TM, give me it nice, please. Oh, something on Route 6, did he say? In front of the cave at Route 6, cool. I mean, we've got the badge, that's the main thing, I suppose. But, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I would have liked... I would have liked, you know... I would have liked a TM, a randomised TM. I do enjoy random fun. Or at least in these games I do. Right. So let us <laughs> cycle back to the Pokemon Center again. Like, I don't think we took too much damage, but I just want to restore PP. Even if it is only just like one or two points at the max. It's just good to be prepared, I believe. Right. Here we go, everyone's healed. Do I need to, like, switch everyone around a bit? Not really, but I'm trying to, like, super speed. Like, Zeus is going to be falling behind in levels soon, and he's already, like... There is about as weak as... <laughs> oh my gosh. As weak as Venus is. But the thing is, Venus is going to evolve. So that's what I'm aiming for. Right, so I think we'll stick as we are for now. And is Sharon going to make us battle him? No, oh, it's going to be Bianca instead. Tori, guess what? Guess what? Now I'm trying to do something, Marilyn slash Bianca. Hey, were you at the gym just now? Oh, hey, that's Jim, Jim Vale. Yes, it's Jim Vale, not Drift Vale at all. That's totally cool. That's amazing. No, no, no. I can't get, by, get distracted by being impressed by your shiny new badges. You know what, I'm okay battling Bianca because she's a nice peppy girl and she's not obsessed with being the best and I'm okay with that. Alright, ooh, a plus all. Not the worst Pokemon to exist. <laughs> and that is my review of plus all. With, dri <laughs> with Drizzle. Alright. I mean, it doesn't impede me in any way, at least. Because, I mean, I don't have any fire moves left after I got rid of fire spin for cosmic power. Oh, dear. But, I mean, other than bubble beam, it doesn't particularly help me, so... Eh, I'm fine with it being there. <laughs> I'll be honest, I prefer the Drizzle and Arbok. That will be good for Matarasu. Yeah, I prefer Drizzle over Drought, I guess. Is drought? Is that the, uh, is that the like sun equivalent? I think it is. Right, download special attack. Cool. I realise I should probably stop using Amaterasu as much as I do, considering she's our highest level Pokemon. But I mean, she's just so she just seems to be so useful, and I can't help it. Hey, a Meganium. Let's give Venus a chance, shall we? Why not? Right, even though it's a Meganium and the best flying type move we have is Gust. <laughs> I'm just thinking, would a Meganium at level 26 know Body Slam? Uh, I don't know. Because I was just thinking that could be potentially problematic if it tried using that, and I guess I could have gone with Feather Dance. Right, Hyper Potion, it's a little annoying, but we can deal with it. <laughs> Right, Oh, In reality, Gust does not do as much damage as I'd hoped it would. Right. Reflect, that's fine, because Gust is special? Question mark. 
Oh, for goodness sake, Marilyn slash Bianca, stop. This is the best I can do. Let me live. Oh, dear. And who would have thought the most difficult thing to beat would be the fact that she's using potions. Oh, dear. I mean, it's down now, at least. Fracture. Ooh. Right. She used Reflect, so I'm gonna have to... Mmm, actually, that's a thing. Hmm. <laughs> Literally, Fracture's a dragon type, and all of my special moves, minus Gust, it would resist. Hmm. Oh, minus Earth Power. <laughs> sure, let's go with Amaterasu again. <laughs> Although saying that, I'm pretty sure that the Reflect is going to be wearing off soon anyway. Right. Let's see... Da -da -da. Let's try Earth Power. Oh, that was actually alright. Right. Uh, you know what? One more Earth Power will do the job. Okay, I was going to say, as long as she didn't use another Hyper Potion, I'd have been alright. Right. Earth Power, that should finish her off. Ta-da! Right. There we go, and I'm assuming that Venus is almost level 35 as well. Right. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Tori. You've become totally strong, huh? I'm not that strong, so I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way, t you're way tuned into how your Pokemon feel. I know, I want to share this HM with you. Ooh, fly, awesome. Oh, we can go back to Nacreen City, yes. Nice, shut up, Bianca, I don't care. As horrible as that sounds. Right, I mean, I was going to end the episode, but instead... <laughs> Uh, instead, where is it? Oh my gosh, brain, why can't you work? Right, fly. There we go, there it is. It'll at least give Venus a good move. Right, and by good I mean powerful. Let's get rid of Feather Dance. Right. Ta-da! Feather Dance and fly. So let's fly back to Nacreen City and sort out both of those fossils that we've got. Da 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 da, nope, Nacreen is, oh, oh gosh, it's here, there we go. Right. Okay, so, oh, nope, not the bag, oh, I mean, I was gonna get on the bag, but I assume just running to the museum's gonna be just as quick. <laughs> Right, there we go. Oh look, it's the- oh, it's Horse, that's his name. Sure, let's turn the cover fossil back. Right, what did it turn into? A gold duck. <laughs> Alright. Oh dear, I'm gonna not nickname the gold duck because, I mean, we've already got a water type Pokemon and... Actually, is Golduck even Psychic type as well? I don't remember. Right, let's just dump the Golduck off. Because I made the poor decision of not making two slots free in my team. Right. Yeah, sit next to the mill tank <laughs> that I caught for whatever reason. Right, and let's just... <laughs> Even though it's just going to be a few minutes over 20 minutes this, it's worth it, I think. Right, and now, what was it, the plume fossil or the cover one? I can't remember. Right. Du -du 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 -du. It turned into an, um, a Loma Mola. Right. Again, it's another water type Pokemon, so... No thanks. But I think I'm going to leave this episode here, so thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. And I will see you guys 
Well, probably back at Driftvale. <laughs> See you then.